removing the rear rotor reveals the mechanism for the parking brake adjustment. As the small cog is turned, the parking brake shoes are pushed outward towards the inside of the disc. The proper adjustment of the shoe exists when the shoes are just about to touch the inside of the disc. Use this photo to identify the location of the sprocket when you are trying to look through the access hole in the brake disc. You do not need to remove nor want to remove the brake disc to do this. Spin the wheel until you feel a slight drag from the brake shoes, then it, turn it back two notches. Pulling up the carpet reveals the cable equalizer check holes, shown by the arrows. It is important that the equalizer be level as shown here, otherwise your parking brakes will not work properly. If the equalizer is not level, then you will need to adjust the parking brake cables where they attach to the rear of the brake assembly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.